de 1953. Hank Williams Jr., pai do nosso entrevistado, seguiu seus passos na década de 70 e também chegou ao estrelado campo. Hank Thurley transita entre o punk, o rock e os estilos do pai e do avô. Não move multidões, mas dorme tranquilo, sabendo que faz as coisas à sua maneira. Quando eu entrei na Music Row e na Curb Records para cuidar do meu filho. And I got into country music to be able to get back into to punk rock and rock and roll. And I, I like anybody, when you first start, you're a little green. Um, it took me a couple of records to find my voice and find my sound. I wasn't very happy the way that they put the Three Hanks record out there. I'm like, oh, you're just going to make it look like y'all paved the way for me when I was raised by my mom. And I only saw my dad maybe four or five times a year. So that was so-so. I didn't like that to be a first record. I was like, wait 10 years. Let me get my own fans and then do a Three Hanks record. But sure enough, they put it out there. Yes, it was an honor to sing with Hank Jr. and my grandfather. But it just didn't feel right. Rising Outlaw, it was, you know, so-so. They didn't like understand oh this kid wants to produce himself he wants to be an engineer he wants to write his own songs that was trouble <laughs> But they keep him outside their door Hell, they didn't even really want Johnny Cash Back in 74 Said the grand old Opry ain't so grand anymore Well, they were nervous about Waylon Cause he had a crooked smile For many, many years they never wanted both seat I write songs cause I write songs I play music cause I play music When I, Every time I create a new song I still get the same feeling and I, I just understand it a little more as I go. Um, but the drive is still there. Every time I do a show, I'm still nervous. It's my main thing that I put on a good show. I've never been too drunk to play. I've, you know, I've always put the show before anything else. Um, but anyone that knows me knows I eat, live, and breathe music. That's, that's all I do. I don't have too many old ladies around because my whole house is dedicated to music and they can't stand it, you know, but, uh, you know, I'm 40 years old and I live like I'm 17 every day. I write songs. And I try to get a crew together and tour. I always tour to tour. I try to play for the cheapest ticket prices possible in the United States I, and I take pride in doing the longest show for the cheapest ticket price out there for the common man, which is country music. That's what country music is for. Well, oh, what a feeling. 